And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Angry Birds in Space! The Planet Block Version by Mattel Games. Angry Birds is a game that is very popular, probably the most famous game app that's currently on iOS, Android, etc. Everyone likes Angry Birds to the point where they made Angry Birds in space and they made Star Wars Angry Birds and who knows what's next. Let's say Twilight Angry Birds. Angry Birds as a computer game is very popular even though it came out way back when with two gorillas throwing bananas at each other, but I digress. Angry Birds is a game that people get a big kick out of, uh, but does it translate well to a board game? Let's take a look. pieces here and some sets of cards. You have one set one, two, three, and this is technically set four. It's kind of like a freestyle set of cards and then you have helmet cards. And each player takes a turn and on your turn you pick what card you want. So you can pick a card one, you can pick a card two, you can pick a card three, you can pick a card four. Each of these cards is worth one to uh, 200, 300 points, um, possibly more. The red cards are a little wild in how they work. Now, if you look at each of these cards, let's take a closer look. You'll see that each of these cards tells you to build a specific structure. And so you'll give it to the player uh, on your left who is going to build that structure. So let's say, for example, this one here is a pretty simple structure. It's just a beam on top of two blocks with a pig and a helmet. So they would take these two blocks and put the beam on top of them. And then on top of that, they would stick one of the pigs and they would give that pig this radio helmet. If the, the way that most of the stuff stacks pretty well, uh, you can see that these spots here, these rounded things, these beams or whatever they are, they fit pretty nicely into those. It's a solid fit and it will stay in there pretty strongly and the pigs will sit on the top. This whole structure is when you put them together, and by the way, the 300 does not give you an exact one, the, the red cards. Rather, they give you a bunch of pieces and then you have to make those pieces basically any way you want following some different structures. Now, the goal is to take this catapult here and to launch birds. Each one will tell you what kind of bird to launch. There's two kinds of birds. There's your mini bird with lightning bolts on his head, uh, basically just a mini, and then the big fat bird. Now, for purposes of my demonstration here, we're gonna use just a mini bird, mostly because the big fat corner, a big fat bird, due to unfortunate circumstances, is stuck in a corner of the room that I don't feel like going into right now. So, uh, we're not gonna mention whose fault that is. So, you set it up and you have to take your catapult and put your catapult about a foot away from the display. So here we have a foot and then you put the bird in the catapult and you just pull back the catapult and shoot the bird. Okay, that was pretty bad, but hopefully I would have another chance to shoot the bird. And uh, so here I am. Okay, that's awfully bad, that's, that's too small. Let's try to get this a little bit faster. Woohoo! Knock the pig over even though I took three turns. And in this instance, I would have only been able to shoot the fat bird one time. Here I would have been able to shoot the, you know, but I would have had to knock over all the pigs. If you don't knock over all the pigs, you do not get all the points. In this case, I would get the card, which is worth 100 points. And since I knocked off his helmet, then I would also take a helmet card, which is worth 100 points. That's what those are for. And that's it. You can go to a predetermined number of points. You can give everybody a certain number of turns, whatever it is. Whoever has the most points is the winner. Obviously, it's easy to go after these smaller cards here, uh, but the bigger ones will give you more points faster, depending on how good you are at shooting the catapult. Okay, Angry Birds is a dexterity game, pure and simple. I mean, the rules themselves, there's some kind of function to them. And in fact, I bought Angry Birds Star Wars and they don't actually fit together at all. They're, they're different scales. I mean, I suppose you could do stuff, but essentially what this is, is build something and shoot a catapult at it and knock it down. You say, well, Vassal, that's what Angry Birds is. You're right. Um, but there are other games like this 
crossbows and catapults. Come on, folks. If you've not ever played that game, you're missing out. That puts this game to shame or weapons and warriors, either one of those two fantastic older games that basically do the same thing that this one does. So you buy this game and you give it to your, per your friend who loves Angry Birds so much that they bought a t-shirt to show that off and they have Angry Bird ornaments in their car and what have you. But um, the game itself is okay. It's dexterity, but some people are going to be bad at it, and it's going to ruin their enjoyment of the game. In Angry Birds as the application, if you miss, you can adjust how you throw it a little bit, and you keep adjusting till you get it. In this game, there's all sorts of things that you can adjust, and you can really miss it 200 times in a row. I'm not saying that anyone has ever done that, but it is possible. And some of the bigger block formations are really difficult to knock down. You have to have some, some skills. I think kids will get a kick out of this game, although I think you should buy one or two or three sets so you can make some pretty neat things and knock them down because we all know that making big things out of blocks and things and knocking them over is something that kids love. Uh, so I'll, I'll give this one a decent rating because I think that kids will enjoy it. I think that people who are good at it will enjoy it and people who just like to shoot birds into the far reaching corners of the room. I don't even know. How, Okay, we're not going to talk about where that bird is. But just getting these things and putting them together, it, yeah, I want to say it's a cheap ripoff, and in a sense it is, but at least they did put a game in the box, and the pieces are good quality, and I have seen people have fun with it, so I guess it's a win, but just not for me. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. Shut the door! Yeah. Yeah.